We're in Blue Mountains, Australia, and we're going to show you the fun things you can do here. First, we're going to hike to Wentworth Falls. A mosquito. Ah! It, it tried biting me just now. Great. According to all trails, this is a 1.8 mile loop with 600 feet elevation gain. Ah, the mountains really are blue. I mean, I do see blue mountains, but that's not be. That's not why. That's not why. That's from the fall. So loud. So far, it's pretty easy. Just stairs. I can hear the waterfall already. The view says to the falls. Good view off villagers. Look out in five minutes. This is a short but steep walk to the cliff edge Fletcher's Lookout. After 12 minutes, we reached the bottom. That was a somewhat small section, so we're gonna go a bit further to see what it looks like. Look at that. I can see the trail down there. Actually, this is as far as we'll go because we have a pretty good view of everything. And that is Wentworth Falls. Uh, I really like the different types of scenery in here. And overall, it's not, it's not a hard hike. Well, he's saying it's not a hard hike, but we haven't gone up back to the top yet. As for the views, I can see why this place is called Blue Mountains because the mountains look blue from a distance and hopefully we'll get to see more of this kind of scenery in the next few days. We are at the Everglades House and Gardens. This property boasts a spectacular garden and a stunning art deco home. This series of fences tells a story. So first the dog was chasing the peacock. Then Mr. Vandeveld was chasing after the dog and then he caught the dog and locked him in prison. And this is his own dog, mind you. And finally, Mr. Vandeveld caught up with his peacock. The end. We're standing in Henry Vandeveld's bedroom. This house was built in the 1930s and Henry Vandeveld lived here. He moved from Belgium. That's Henry's dog that I was talking about outside. This is a statue of Huckleberry Finn that used to be outside, but then people kept touching it and destroying it, so then they moved it inside. This carpet is original, and what they did is they re-dyed it, so, because that's much more environmentally friendly than replacing the entire carpet. Here's a mural with a fountain, and the mural displays fishing, hunting, cooking. Look, there's that dog again. That naughty dog, just stealing a hot dog. Over here's the same story of the dog, the peacock, and the man. And there's that dog again. So now there's two dogs. And over there's the third dog. This was Mr. Vandervelt's personal bathroom on the first floor. And this was his sauna, very fancy. I love the red tile walls. This was the wife's bathroom upstairs. And there's no sauna, but there is a very fancy bath. And there's a dog. Those are dogs. You can't say that's not a dog. This bedroom overlooks the Blue Mountains. This is Una Vandeveld's bedroom, and she was the wife. But there's no dog. This is where the Huckleberry Finn statue used to be. See that very tall tree over there? That's a sequoia tree, like the ones we have in California. Garden Dietre. Dietre. This is the lookout and are there is there a river below? We reached the grotto pool. This would be a great place to hang out and just have some peaceful time. And that is the Everglades House and Garden. My favorite part was the hidden walk to the grotto pool. It's a very nice calm walk and it goes through a little rainforest and then it ends up next to a waterfall. And my favorite part was the house itself and seeing Mr. Vanderveld's love for his dog. Our next stop is Blue Mountains Cultural Center. This place features an art gallery, library, and various programs. So the whole concept of this exhibit is that these objects move and they're powered by what I think is electricity and it makes its own artwork. This 
whistle is vibrating so fast. It's dragging on the ground and making its own spinny artwork there. I like how it's just one piece that's moving, but it's moving so much. She's just gliding. There's a barnacle. I hate barnacles and how they look. In this exhibit, Sean O'Keefe, the artist, drew many different subjects. And then afterward, the artist invited the subjects to draw whatever they want over it. And in this one, they invite the guests to draw whatever they want. He has a plug coming out of his brain. I like how some artists think outside of the box. Like this one is literally outside of the box. I don't know what happened to that one. This one though looks so cool. This one looks like glass art. I don't even know what's happening there. <laughs> and this one, he made a comment afterward that said left hand too small. There it looks like jackalope. And then inside is another person. Here there's googly eyes. And look, he even added his own legs. Here it looks like the guy died because he's just face down flat on the floor. And he was cut out from the original picture. They're gonna collide and explode. What do you think he's doing? Now we're going to check out Into the Blue, Blue Mountains World Heritage. So basically it's like we're surrounded by forests because when the wall shows this display, then the ceiling shows a stormy display. So the walls correlate with the ceiling. Close for snakes. Ha <laughs> ha. Whoa. <laughs> and that is the Blue Mountains Cultural Center. I really like the exhibit where you can draw stuff on the person, but also looking at the other people who got to modify their own art. This place has some of the most unique artwork I've ever seen, and also there's a whole section where you can learn about the Blue Mountains of Australia. Our final stop is Three Sisters. This hike is a quarter mile each way, so it's not much. That's just two loops around the track. Please. <laughs> I see it. I see the two sisters. You know I was messing with you when I said two sisters. This lookout is so cool. It's like the Green Grand Canyon. I think they're missing a sister. Over here is the Honeymoon Bridge, but unfortunately it's closed due to conditions or worse. And this is one of the three sisters. Actually, from this platform you can see all three sisters pretty clearly, because when we were down there you can only see like one or maybe two. And that was the three sisters. Overall, it's a very short, nice hike, and you get a great view. Plus there's stairs that go all the way down, and I wish the bridge was open though. Those are the three sisters. One, two, three, and uh... We came at the perfect time at sundown because we don't have to pay for parking and there's barely any people here compared to during the daytime where there's pro it's probably flooded with visitors. See you in the next video. Bye!